And y'all, we done busting it down. We done, well, we done taking a frame from the engine. Right now, I'm trying to get this started with a little carb cleaner, little, uh, gas powered power washer. Can't get it to stay running on its own. So, maybe it needs the water running through it for the little fuel pump type of deal to work. Hook the water up and see how it goes then, y'all. But, uh, we're going to do some wire wheeling action today. I'll be removing some stuff like I'll be re removing some stuff like this brake cable. Emergency comes to the train. Y'all couldn't see on my other videos. That's where it comes out at. But if you take a clamp and wrap it around that to compress those, you can slide that out easily. Really, I only did it once. Remove. We're gonna remove old. Uh, hmm. I might boil the swap these gas fuel lines or these uh metal fuel lines i don't know but uh, we're gonna remove stuff like old brake lines tuck the new brake line a little better they're tripping on the new brake line for now i just want to be, be riding in it safely as soon as possible but i do got a new fuel line on that one that i could swap off we're busting this mug down y'all but uh we're gonna I wire wheel this section here. So that's probably as far as I'll go. I mean, I'll clean it, but you know, you see the little stuff there from factory, the little high spots, that stuff. I might hit them a little bit with the grinder, stuff like this right here. You know what I mean? Right there, knock some of that stuff off. But also might not. I'm gonna switch this wire wheel I got. Um, I really wanna clean it before I wire wheel it. But we're going to see if I can get this uh, power washer going, y'all. That's the one I'm using. I'm going to get the one that looks more like a ball. Use that one. I'm supposed to have a couple of them. So I don't know where they at right now, y'all. This is day six working on the box Chevys. Pull the exhaust off of this one. I don't need to worry about the exhaust or air shocks or the engine or transmission from the bad frame for right now. We're prepping the new frame. Uh, removing, like I said, removing some old stuff, replacing some, removing some old stuff and cleaning it up, y'all. Uh, under the tar 53, the LM7, I'll remove that today. And uh, before I clean it and clean it all, all up here as well. All inside of there, I'm gonna clean. I've already pre but now I'm gonna power wash it, y'all. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna try. I'm working on it a little bit, y'all. I need to get my power washer running. Uh, I don't know if it's because the bad fuel or low fuel. I clean the gas tank out for the most part. I'm finna go get some gas and uh. Try to get this mug started so I can spray this frame down, y'all. Underneath here, there's the body. There's some areas that I want to wire wheel, like this here. Another side, too, some spots like that. You know, just some rusty spots underneath the body. I want to. Uh, Get some little attention too. Get this gas put in this power washer. See if it fire on up. If so, we're good to go. If not, I don't know what I'm gonna do, y'all. As in, I don't know what I'm gonna do today if I don't power wash. Day six ain't going the best, y'all. Can't get my air compressor to stay running. I think the carburetor is either gunked up or something. It'll start with a little fluid when you throw it in the car, but it shuts right off. So right now I've been working on this. Not much, but you see there. Uh, there. Up in there. Two bolts in the proportional valve. Took them bolts from the other one. 
13 millimeter. Also, all these other bolts for those clamp type of deals are 13 millimeter as well. To remove this for your parking brake, emergency brake, hose clamp, slide it on the cable. I'm going to position it something like so. I'm going to take my impact and tighten it. It's a one quarter bit, but you want to tighten it. I'm going to say as much as possible, but you see it's tightened right. You might want to hammer some to knock on it a little bit. Hold on. Pull that other part through, but make sure it's on there as tight as you can. Tap on it right there. I tapped it out of there like this, y'all. I couldn't get my power washer fired up yesterday. Got to fire it up, wouldn't stay running. That's why I was talking about air compressor. I think the car was gummed up, but I was meaning the uh, power washer. So I had to just. I'm gonna have to wire, I'm gonna have to just spray it down with the water hose after I put the cleaner, degreaser, whatever I use on there, and then go back behind it with the wire wheel. If I'm gonna do that extensive, I might just use the wire wheel to knock some of the scale off. Get that side, I was bullshitting a couple days ago, just do some paint on there, but I'm not gonna waste it. This side is a wire wheel and used the grinder on it a little bit yesterday, all the way up to Near the tarp, uh, I did the sides a little bit. So right now I'm about to just take these tires off here, to where I can get better uh, access at certain angles. Uh, probably put some cleaner on here, spray this stuff down, let it sit for when I go cut my grandpa's hair real quick. Yeah, y'all, this day seven, it really ain't even. It's been slow motion yesterday with some bullshit, but yeah, y'all. Stay tuned with your boy, man. Frame off swap at the crib. In the grass and in the rocks with a jack and cherry picker. When I reinstall it, I'll use two cherry pickers. One of my buddies, or which is, uh, or uh, see if my neighbor let me use his, y'all. Moving too fast, I got bust these lug nuts loose. My grandpa, my grandpa ain't hit me back yet, y'all, so, well, he ain't answer. I tried to call him twice, I'm supposed to go cut his hair at 10, but called him about 10.30. Sun's finally starting to pop out, I decided, y'all, I'm not gonna, most of it I'm not gonna wire wheel. Where I see a lot of metal flake, I will wire wheel and hit with the grinder a little bit to knock most of that off. But for the most part, like this stuff right y'all see, I just went ahead and painted looks better on camera than in person but uh like up underneath here that scale and grime i'll clean that before i hit some paint on there i really can't see but yeah i mean the rear end you see where it's grimed up i'll clean that as best as i can uh some of that little scale i'll clean that off there <coughs> so I ain't going too deep, too extensive with it, but I'm, you know what I mean? I'm doing something for now, but I'm not, I'm not going to bust the whole frame down, strip the whole frame, you know what I mean? Have it powder coated yet. I'll do all that in the future. Uh, at least sandblast everything, and then I might paint it myself. Who knows? But I just, just for shits and giggles, just throw a little paint on there to stop some of the rust on these body mount bolts. I just went ahead and painted the metal inserts just to do it. So I'm on my own or the bad frame. I'm gonna remove my air shock shell. Uh, down there, that it. See down there, the one on the right, that nut. And then right there, you can see I already removed it. I used a 19 millimeter for that. When you pull that uh, nut off, no, there's a uh, washer in there. Washer. Uh, and for the top bolts here, 
those are 13 millimeter. Go ahead and bust these old, these air shocks off the old frame. I might bust the new shocks off the, the yellow and uh, replace them right now. Or I might wait, I might just pull them all out and put them in after I do some painting to where I can hit some, hit some better angles, y'all. The upper rear shock bolts, you got uh, the two bolts on the top side of the frame, but you got two nuts on the bottom side of the frame. So there's your two bolts. Start hitting with the impact and they start spinning. Um, if you look up in there, hard to see, but you got one there and one on the opposite side. I'm gonna have to probably get on the ground for this. I'm gonna grab me a 13 millimeter wrench and see if I can reach them. So with the body not on the frame, I was able to reach it with a not long but not short uh, 13 millimeter. I mean, you just go up underneath here. There's this one. You're gonna go in at this angle. You can see the wrench in there a little bit moving. And then this one, hit it like this angle, y'all. When the body's on the frame, I believe I used use a wrench on the top and maybe a long socket or a damn, long attachment with a 13 millimeter, y'all. Gonna go over and bust this other side off real quick. Should go grab my tripod for y'all. I might clean and paint out these air shocks too, y'all. These air shocks been on about 10 years. Look at these bushings. I, mean, I don't know what they look like new on air shocks, but you see that rust on there, so I might paint them as well. Get my tripod set it up. You have to watch me work on the opposite side which is going to be removing the driver's side air shot. Got my 19 millimeter to bust the bottom bolt or nut and bolt. Got the...
suck trying to use one hand, you know. Move these hoses just to keep them safer from breaking up or whatnot. Damn, I keep breaking my tripod, y'all. The glue keep coming out the legs. So we got these shocks. I'll probably remove the ones on the yellow joint. Or, yeah, the yellow box has the yellow shocks. Let me see on these. <coughs> so I put the bolt in underneath coming up and put the nut on top when I put them on a while ago. It's still wet. It's all good, yeah. You know? I'm gonna uh, remove the shocks off the good frame real quick. Just how y'all set up and y'all can watch that. But that'll probably be a little fast video that I fast forward. Yeah, you know I mean, y'all know what I'm talking about. Got a little more time, y'all. My grandpa said it's cool if I go cut him about five o'clock, so I'm gonna cut him. And about that's about I got about five hours to work on the whip. Then I'm gonna cut him and head to the shop and cut these other two clients though, y'all. I'm gonna set y'all up while I remove these yellow air shocks. Not air shocks, but yellow rear shocks. So as y'all seen, hey, I just used hyperlapse mode. That was like a damn near nine minute video that it knocked it down to what, 31 seconds? But uh, as y'all could tell, I was doing the driver's side, the, the uh, rear end dropped some. Same with the left, but when it dropped on the right, it really hit that jack stand, or the jack. One that had the jack there, honestly, I don't know what would have happened. Um, so what I'm saying is, be careful. Uh, have this rear end jacked up or something because I didn't realize how much the shocks were holding the frame and rear end together. Like, you know I mean, if y'all know what I'm saying. So basically, I mean, when y'all remove the shocks while the body is off of the frame and it's in this state, Y'all be careful, but you know, when you swap shocks out in the car, um, but shit, really, you got the jack, I don't know, when the body's on the car, when the body's on the frame and you got it jacked up on the rear end, you ain't got that much shift. But being this light, the frame is being this bare, you definitely see some movement and whatnot when you separate stuff like that. Some yellow shocks. 
I believe if they good, they're supposed to expand back out. But this mug ain't really expanding. I don't know what this one's going to do. Yeah, that mug shit. Them mugs ain't expanding either. So, because when you get new shocks, I believe they're compressed. And they got the little tie to hold them, hold them down. But, uh, but now y'all are probably... Man, I don't know what I'm going to do right now. Uh, frame still wet. I mean, it's cool. I just sprayed too much there, of course. Um, so now, y'all, I'm just, I don't know, I'm thinking what I'm going to do next, and y'all will see. I'm going to just remove these fuel lines. that filter. Before I uh, put it back on, this is just for the return line. I know a lot of people say it's not needed, but I put it on there just, you know what I mean, just to do it. For the fuel going back to the tank, get filtered. First one I took off was a vent. Vent in the part. Vent all the way to the driver, return in the middle, and all the way to the passenger is the feed. I went ahead and double clamp everything, at least the feed and the return. Got some gas in it, yeah. Fuel. Got some fuel in it. Probably have to replace a little bit of this hose. At least this piece. This what's my call it there. Really didn't even have to put these quick connects on here, y'all. Yeah, I mean, clear spot in there to clean and spray that down. So I'm going to spray that down good with some cleaner. You see, damn, that's the color I wish it was. That's the OG color. Damn, that's straight. Hmm. Do some more stuff, y'all. Uh, you see, I took my brake cable a little bit. frame rail it ain't looking all crazy as crazy as it was at least uh, clean this frame up some more y'all I might do the underbody part of the frame I might jump to the other side then do the underneath all together I'm not for sure yet y'all spray some of this cleaner let some of this paint continue to dry some more hopefully the sun pop out clean these areas where the shocks go wipe these shocks down paint them and install them
probably won't record no more of this process y'all um really today has just been busting down the two frames uh and putting the best out of the two on the frame i'm going to use for brown box uh when i mean busted down of course you already seen the shocks um some stuff like that so i'm just gonna continue cleaning the good frame the best frame and grind some stuff down um uh, you know I mean areas that had like stuff like that smooth them out uh, nothing crazy uh, so when i tune y'all back in or when i bring y'all to the next video the frame will probably be painted um Basically, I guess a uh, budget at home frame swap, y'all. If y'all want to, y'all can like, comment, subscribe, dislike. It's all good. Either way, I appreciate y'all coming through. Showing some love or not showing love, but I ain't gonna bore y'all with prepping the frame, cleaning the frame, because the whole video purposes, this whole channel, this, or not channel, this whole playlist, like build, is how to do a frame off frame swap at home and that's not going to really involve any swapping any, any major component, components or anything of that nature I mean now if you're doing a complete frame swap like you got a new frame that has nothing on it then of course you need to install your trailing arms upper and lower your rear end your shocks your springs um, your control arms upper and lower in the front your spindles, shocks and springs, things of that nature. Um, well, yeah, y'all, so I ain't finna keep boring y'all. This day six, I'll probably tune y'all back in when my work day's over with and I'll show y'all the progress. Right now, this is where I'm at. Cleaning that frame a little, that side of the frame a little bit. And then we're going to wash it and uh, paint it. I need to put this 305 in that on that frame with the transmission I got in the garage. Cut this exhaust off somewhere near the rear to where I can pull the whole exhaust off without dropping the rear. Yeah, yeah. Making some progress. 